See this trailer behind me? Think I'm doing something fun with my horses? <laughs> no, it's right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. But welcome to my brand new farm. Super, super excited for this, y'all. I'm going to take y'all on a really quick tour. It is starting to sprinkle, and I think a big storm's coming our way. Maybe we can fit in the outside stuff beforehand. Um, we just purchased this place last week. We closed on it, and we actually did what's called curbside closing. Curbside closing, you ask? What is that? That means that the attorney actually comes out to your car, and you sign a gazillion papers. Try not to let them fly out your car window, because they won't let you inside the attorney's office to close on the house. Yeah, that happened. But here it is. Uh, there's a few things we're going to do to it, and I wanted to take you guys along on this journey with me and what we are going to do to the farm. First of all, this termite shack. We are going to demolish it and haul it off, and that will just be empty space. Uh, we're going to rearrange some of the fence lines a little bit. They had donkeys and cows here beforehand. Um, so I think I'm going to actually knock this whole fence out and make this area my arena. Here is our barn. It's got this lovely little chicken hut. Isn't it so cute? It does have power to the barn. The barn needs a little bit of work. Um, there is not, as you can see, it's got a lot of drainage issues. There is no water down to the barn, just standing water. So we're going to get water coming down to the barn, and I've got an excavator coming. Oh, if I don't fall down in the mud, the mud pit, yeah. He's going to grade this and put fine crushed gravel down that's safe for the horses so it won't be such a mud pit because as you can see it all comes running downhill. So there's two very nice little lean-tos that are actually pretty dry. He's going to build all this up with the dirt and then this back end is kind of just a wooded area that the goats will really really love and he's going to put gravel all through here so it's not such a mud pit and then here's the other side of the barn we are going to have our work cut out for us in here. Let me tell you what, I'm about to do some because, see, it's got all this hog wire and all the stalls. The stalls are not usable at the moment. Let's go back in where it's semi-dry as I scale this gate. But as you can see, stalls really aren't usable yet. I got to get all this hog wire off of them. We will likely change out the stall walls. Um, but I don't really keep my horses stalled anyway, so this isn't really a danger to them. Um, the way that there's so many gaps, I will probably just feed them in here and then use the stalls um, as storage. And then if they ever need stall rest, I do have them. But I will likely change out the walls as well so there's not so many gaps in the walls. And then the plan is on the back wall to actually cut out windows so that that lets some light in here. Because even with the lights on, you can't see a damn thing in here. So, like I said, the excavator is going to come and fill all of this up with dirt so that it's not all wallered out. And we'll probably put crushed gravel on the center aisleway um, just so it doesn't get all muddy and wallered out. So, look forward to a lovely overhaul in this barn. Here's kind of the before video. I will show you the after video. But luckily it does have power. This is going to be the hay room. I'm not going to put any tack in here. I will keep my tack in my trailer as I've done for the past six odd years. Um, we will sweep this out and Goober Kitty will live in here. My barn cat who is the best mouser in the world and hopefully we'll get rid of the rat problem. And we will just store hay in here. Um, I probably won't even store feed in here because of the rat problem. That will probably go in the garage of the house or the horse trailer, but we'll figure it out. If I can seal this room off, I might be able to store a horse feed in here. But anyway, there's just a room that's got a wood floor, so it'll be nice for hay storage. And that's the barn. It should look completely and utterly different in a couple months' time. Here is a pretty cute little chicken house. Um, it's actually fairly big and looks like it's in pretty good shape, so I'm excited to get some chickens. Here's the other Celine too. We're going to get rid of all this barbed wire. I'm going to cut all that out so it'll just be open. And the excavator is going to come 
and put a French drain through here with more dirt and gravel so it'll run off that way so this place won't be such a mud pit. Probably this area here, we're going to extend that fence line beyond where the shack is that's going to be torn down. And this area will probably be the arena once we grade it a little bit. There is a grand total of nine acres. I don't think I can show you all the acres, but there's a little field over here that's got a little tiny shed in it for run-in shelter, which is really cute. And then there's about a four acre field over here that has a big pond. And one of my most excited things about this place is the fruit trees. Where I live now we have several fruit trees and I've really enjoyed the fruit and I actually can the fruit so I'm excited that we will be able to keep doing that here. All these purple guys are all plums. That right there is a garden which we cleaned out. It was very overgrown. I should have gotten a before picture but I didn't and we put a tarp on half of it and it was the biggest tarp that we could find still not big enough so it's a nice big garden so I'm looking forward to canning some fruits and veggie tables <sighs> I'm out of breath okay so here are the plum trees we are walking under and this is a cherry tree we think we're not 100% sure yet um, this is a baby pear tree and we think these others that aren't in bloom yet is little baby apple trees this is a peach tree and a couple more pear trees. So that is our fruit orchard. So fancy. And vegetable garden. Very excited about. There's one more field up the driveway. So on the left you have the big four acre field. On the right there's about another two acre field, which will probably be my jump field. Front yard. And here's the house. It's really cute. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the color, and that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we're going to get some vinyl paint. We'll see how well it works and paint it. Probably a cream color. Whew, guys, I'm out of breath. Um, on this side is another like little half acre field I was showing you earlier. And look how cute. I don't know if you can see it. With that little run-in shed, it looks just like a manger scene. So with the donkey and the goats, we can have a really cute little Christmas poster card, I think, if they'll cooperate. I'm going to show you inside real quick. Oh my god, I don't know how to open the door. Alright, here we go. Ta-da! We're not really going to do much in here except paint it. So we're going to paint it a kind of a gray-blue color with white trim. Um, I love how open this is. The living room, dining room, and kitchen is all like one big open area, which is really nice. Um, all the appliances are fairly new. There's lots of storage space. Um, there's a washroom with a utility sink, which is great. Need utility sinks on the farm. And master bedroom that you probably can't see. But look at the view. It'll look a lot better once that shack's gone. <coughs> I've been mowing all day, guys. Uh, bathroom. We will eventually change the color. Why you would get a puke green tub, I do not know. And a newly renovated house. We've got a nice sliding barn door, which I don't really understand the purpose of. My mom said the previous owners must have watched way too much HGTV. Oh, I got grass stuck in my throat. <coughs> or I'm dying. I don't know. One of two. Brand new fireplace. And two more bedrooms back in the hall. <coughs> One more bathroom. Ta da! One more bedroom. But the views all around are just phenomenal. So. Out there will be the jump field, and I'm going to knock down all those cedar trees so you can actually see. Ow! So the house is straight in the middle of all the acreage. Um, all the acreage makes a big circle around the house with a nice long driveway, which I love. Uh, I like <coughs> lots of privacy. And plenty of room for dogs and ponies and goaties to run around in. 
Oh, and a tornado shelter. You need one of those down here. We live in the south. It's pretty bad. I think we just had a tornado come through the area like two days ago. So that'll be nice to have a nice storm shelter. Uh, I am a nurse. I'm in nurse anesthesia school and I graduate in May. Currently it is almost April. So my graduation ceremony has been completely canceled because of the coronavirus, which is really sad because I went into almost six figure debt to get my doctorate degree in nurse anesthesia. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out in paying off my student debt. So I signed on with a hospital that is over an hour away from my current farm and when I'm on call I have to be within 30 minutes to get to the hospital and my whole family lives in this area and there's a guy I've been dating for like eight years his name is Blake and you probably saw him on my old channel um, the plan is after graduation we will get married and move in here together and he works like 20 minutes from here as well so it just made sense to sell the old place Although I would dearly, dearly miss the old place that had a wonderful arena with lights, which was great. And we will just have to build that here. So that's the down and dirty short story of why I got a new farm. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour and I will keep you guys updated as we move in and all the progress we make. This is kind of a before little video of the property and we have a lot of plans for the property. And I wanted to take you guys along for the ride. Like I said before, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you, mean it. Mwah!